Now, in 2002, they were relocating the Indiana State Museum, and they found a large uh, utility steam line running underneath that had to be relocated at great expense. Well, the director of the museum said, look, if we're going to relocate this, how do we redeem this project? They grabbed some steam off that main line. They contacted the gentleman that built the uh, clock in Vancouver, and they said, can you build us one of these things? And he said, yeah, I can. So he built them a steam clock. They grabbed the steam off that main utility line, and there it went, except for the steam, the condensation, and everything coming off it rotted out all the innards and any electronics that were involved, and the, the clock died, and it sat there until 2018. They ripped it out, sent it out for repair, and now it's back, and it's functioning. And every hour, if I have the schedule right, it plays back home in Indiana, attracts a lot of visitors. You can hear it from miles away. It's a pretty neat thing.